Man, how great was that? Please comment below. Let me know if you can hear me because like I said, I'm in a coffee shop. I have tour I've toured all over Oregon to make sure that I could be here with Wi-Fi. And um, I am just delighted to be here. What we're gonna be talking about today is uh, first of all, obviously, happy birthday. Ooh, look who's in the house. The amazing John Leslie Brown is here. He's actually going to be joining me soon if we can get the technology to work, which is going to be so cool. We want to make sure that we say happy birthday to be live. I have some cool things to do for the birthday. And today what we're going to be talking about is how to make more genuine, real human connections using technology and automation. So the main tools that I'm going to be talking about today technology and automation wise are Facebook Live, obviously, and messenger bots. So some of you may have received a little message from us today, and you may know our famous BeLive bot here at BeLive.tv. I'm gonna bring him up in a second. I love seeing you. Audra says that she's in Portland, hooray. I know I really am whispering, but I'm in a coffee shop. Can you hear me? I usually talk so loud. Elaine, hello. Okay, for those of you that I don't know, it's so good to see so many faces that I love and know. Helen, Karindir, hello. Um, yes, yes, rock is silly. I love it. Okay, so for those of you that I don't know, my name is Molly Mahoney. I am a camera confidence coach and a Facebook Live ninja. I have a weekly show here at BeLive TV, and I also help with the bots, so the messenger automation. And I know that sometimes people get super freaked out when they think about this technology with, so bots, if you don't know what that is, it's a way to actually use your Facebook Messenger as an automation tool so that you can create one-on-one -on -one conversations with literally thousands of people at once. And yes, Raven, I saw that you gave a shout out to Mr. Les Brown and John Leslie's going to be joining us in about 15 minutes. Les Brown might be coming on too. We'll see if they're together and if we can get all this magic to work, which is going to be really fun. And... Yes, you are so, oh, I'm so thrilled to be here. Thank you, Danielle. Okay, so we're gonna go quick because we, we don't have much time today because we are blasting through loads of amazing information. It's so cool. And I love that I'm able to come to you from this little coffee shop and make this happen. I love it, thank you, yes. Okay, so focus, Molly, focus, share. Share this video so that we can get even more people on because I really believe that creating more human connections with technology is something that this world needs. It's not just a fun thing to do. It's something that, that is actually vital to our existence as human beings because people can take these tools and use them inappropriately and then we can all be turned off by them. But really there's some super killer strategies. I'm gonna share 10 strategies with you today so that you can use these tools to make more human connections without being a salesy weirdo, right? <laughs> yes, Corinder says that he saw me live in an airplane. You can do this anywhere. Okay, happy birthday, Be Live! And I want to give you a little gift. So I have two gifts that I'm going to give you. Actually, one is we took our bot, Mr. Be Live, and my good friend Mary Smith had given him a hard time because she says that he's not that handsome. So he had a little facelift. This is our Be Live bot, and I want to show you the facelift. Ready? Here he comes. What? <laughs> Look at how handsome he is. He grew a mustache. He grew a top hat, and he says happy birthday to me. <laughs> so I'll give a little bit of a song just for you, Mr. B Live Bot, because I'm in this coffee shop and here's my microphone. Okay. Happy birthday to you. How grateful are we for this amazing tool and all of the fantastic real connections that it's brought into our lives. If you're grateful, comment below with the word grateful. I'm so grateful. I did my first BeLive broadcast on October 14th last year. So before it was even born, I was able to get in as a beta tester and it's literally changed my life. So Daniel, Safir, Jeff, Joel, Rachel, Ross, Mari, all of you who are involved, all the whole team at BeLive, um, Tina, Stephen, April, all of you, I'm just so grateful. And I know you are grateful as well, everyone who's watching right now. So Okay, so what we're talking about is more human connections. And there, this is something that's like a really big topic. I have 10 bullet pointed things that I'm gonna go through in the next 10 minutes right before we bring on John Leslie Brown and maybe his papa Les Brown. And you're gonna be so inspired by them. So I'm gonna go through these tips, these 10 steps to having more human connections using technology. And then I also wanna let you know that I actually just right now set up a bot so you could experience how this works. So if you comment below, we're gonna see if it works because I haven't actually tested it, but if you comment below with the words, 
bot me, you should get a message from our friend be live bot, the little handsome bloke over here. He should send you a message. And then if you reply to his message with the word birthday, you'll get access to the BeLivers Facebook group so that you can really become a part of this community. You'll also get access, if you've never tried Be Live before, you'll get access to a free trial for Be Live TV. This awesome, thank you, Beth, Donna, yeah, Melissa. You could ask, ooh, um, Alyssa, Alyssa, if you can do it, two words, bot me, two words. Um, oh shoot, I should change that. I'm gonna add it and make it bot me as one word. Let me know if you guys get that message from Be Live Bot because you'll be able to get access to the BeLivers Facebook group. You'll be able to get access to BeLive TV if you've never used it. Ooh, it looks like it's working. And then make sure that you reply to him with the word, the one word, the word birthday. I'm gonna add bot me as a real word also. Okay, so I'm actually explaining to you how to do this and I'm showing you how we're gonna make more human connections. So what this does, when this automated feature sends you a message, you have to reply to it so that it's like you're having a conversation with our robot named BeLiveBot, right? It's gonna send you a message and then you have to reply to that message with the word birthday. When you replied with the word birthday, you'll be sent another message that will give you access to the BeLivers Facebook group where you can join our awesome community. It will give you access to the free trial of BeLive TV if you've never used it before. And you'll also have a way to connect with me a little bit more and learn even more about all of this. And you just click on the little button. It says that it sent the message to 23 of you. So we have to remember when we're using technology like this, Let's see, If when we're using technology like this, it's crazy, right? Especially at Be Live, we have, you know, thousands and thousands of people who are using this tool at once. So my first rule is always that you want to make sure that you recognize this is all magic. I'm gonna check it one more time. It says that 32 of you have received the message. So, um, if, and if it's not, if for some reason you're not seeing that message, all you have to do is go over to the Be Live page, which you're already on right now. So when this broadcast is done, hop over there and just send a message to Be Live that says birthday and you'll get all the information. Okay, we're gonna go on because like I said, I just set it up right now and I'll come back and check with you. Today's like a crazy technical day, right? Okay, don't worry about it right now. We're gonna go on. So Be Live bot, go away. And um, it, later on, if you want to get access to that stuff, just send a message to us with the word birthday and it will send you everything. Okay, so first of all, we have to remember that you are speaking to, <laughs> you are speaking to real human beings. So sometimes when you go live and you see the little number next to you, I know some, one woman said to me once, man, when I go live, sometimes it goes down to like 84 people watching live. It's such a bummer. And my response to her was 84 people, are you kidding me? That is a human, those are 84 humans. So even if you see a zero there, remember that the power and the repurpose is, is huge. And so we have to make sure that we step back and recognize, even though we're speaking to like a little weird camera right here, you are actually speaking to a human being and you have the potential to change someone's life. So pretend that people are there and then do some repurposing. So comment below with the word human and let me know if, um, if you're gonna agree to recognize the fact that you're speaking to a human. Okay, next is, we're gonna do this little exercise super quickly. Many of you know this exercise, but you have to remember that you are a human as well. And sometimes we get so focused on what we have to offer in our businesses that we forget to bring our own human aspect into this, right? So we are gonna do this exercise called the quesadilla of awesome. And the quesadilla of awesome is where you take everything that you offer in your business and you put it as far away from you as possible. Even if you're in a nonprofit, like whatever your mission is, put it as far away from you as possible. And you're going to look at you as a human being. <laughs> Comment below with the word quesadilla if you can spell it. If you can't spell it, just write cheese. <laughs> okay. What this is, is that you're going to make a list of 20 things that make you a uniquely awesome human. Share this video because this is important. So share, yay. Ooh, and you guys can be entered to win if you tag Jeff, if you're there, um, comment below and let us know exactly how to be entered to win some of these free gifts. And then I'll make sure I shout it out. I don't wanna mess it up. Okay, so on this quesadilla of awesome, you're gonna make a list of 20 things that make you a uniquely awesome human being. They cover these five categories. Your skill sets, your activities, 
your appearance. So the activities that you love, like knitting, crocheting, hiking, your appearance, you have to love something about your own appearance if you come on camera, because otherwise your gremlins are going to take over and take you down, right? Um, your appearance, your values. Man, I love that interview that Joel just did with Matthew, and he talked about how we can love harder. We can definitely love harder. And in my business, I always celebrate joy and kindness. Here at Be Live, we celebrate the community, right? And the ability to really bring yourself to the camera and share your goodness with the world. And the final thing is, yay, thank you. The final thing is things that you like to eat. So if you can talk about things that you like to eat and connect with other people about things that they like to eat, it's an easy human thing to connect with, right? So when you're doing your videos or you're sending out bot broadcasts, instead of instead of, yes, always sending out things that are related to your business or the, the services that you have to provide, send out something about love, send out something about joy, send out something that's like, hey, I'm eating this amazing quesadilla. Oh, there's a fly. Okay, so the more that you can really celebrate those things that make you human and really be your natural human self on camera and with your automation, the better. And the more that the people who are experiencing your messages from the other side, <laughs> There is a fly in here. Okay, your messages from the other side, whether it comes via video or it comes via messenger automation, the more human you can be, the better. And sometimes it takes a little bit of work to set that time aside and really develop that. So we call this the, the quesadilla of awesome. Part of my quesadilla of awesome is that I talk really, really fast. <laughs> so that I can get through all of this content in the next five minutes. Zeph is in the house, what, what, what? And that's where you're gonna be able to connect with people. <laughs> Melissa wants to be the fly on the wall here. Melissa, come join me, maybe that's you. Okay, so yeah, so you wanna, have, everyone has something that makes them uniquely awesome, even if it's just you make an amazing quesadilla. So celebrate that, the unique things about you and find out the unique things about other people that you're connecting with. All right, Zeph, this is a shout out to you actually, because Zeph talks on her, her broadcast today, she talks so much about knowing your why. And I say, if you are using this stuff all the time, it's easy to get removed from the human aspect and get stuck in the technology and the numbers and the sales. So check in with your why on a daily basis. Check in with your why. Know why you're doing this. All right, the next step is know exactly who your ideal client is, not an avatar. I say this all the time, but I'm gonna keep saying it because it's so important. Forget about your demographics when you're doing this. Speak to that ideal person, the real human being that you want to be speaking to. Yes, Alina says, know your why, yes. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, Mary Ann is eating an amazing homemade pizza with no pepperoni with avocado and cucumber salad. I'm coming over. All right. Oh my gosh. Linda just shared her quesadilla of awesome. <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, I love that Be Live lets us bring comments on the screen, but this one's going to be a bit too big. Watch. Oh, it didn't, wait, wait, hold on. Oops. <laughs> okay, so know your ideal client. So if you guys wanna go ahead and comment below with the name of the person who is your ideal client, put them in the comments down below. Okay, John Leslie, if you are getting ready to come on, um, I just wanna make sure that I see you in the right spot. So John Leslie, go ahead and hook your camera up and I'm gonna keep an eye out for you. All right, so then next is one-on-one -on -one interaction. So I did an awesome podcast interview with the LMS podcast and Chris, I asked him for one tip to give and he said, and I love this, he said, do things that don't scale. This is all about developing a one-on-one -on -one interaction with your audience. So every time, John Leslie, see, he's right there, he's answering me and he says, okay, <laughs> right? So every time, yes, <laughs> Debbie is being a fast listener to keep up, I love it. So every time that you are doing this, you wanna think about the fact that usually people are experiencing your messages if they're automated messenger messages via bot, if it's seeing you on a Facebook Live video, they're seeing you by themselves. They're not seeing you in a big group, right? So we wanna be speaking to one singular person and all the strategies that I teach in my courses over at my business is called The Prepared Performer. And I have online courses, I have group coaching, private coaching, everything that I teach there we now use messenger automation and you know ways to repurpose these videos like Hanny Mora was on here and I love his tools. We use these crazy tools and all of it started with a, with a technique that does not need to scale. So instead of saying click the link, when you say comment below with the words bought me, and you should be getting a message from us. We'll see if you do. When you say comment below, right? I, I, the way that I used to teach this was that I would come back and I would respond to every single person individually. And sometimes people would look at me and they'd say like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? And I'd say, yeah, do you wanna have a business? 
Like we've gotten so trained to know that we have the internet and these magical abilities to do a big launch and affect thousands of people that we forget that we're actually speaking to a real human being, right? Yes. So th th this is something that, that we want. <laughs> Wade says, bop me, boom. Oh yeah, comment below with the words boom. Do fancy things happen? Can someone take a screenshot of this video? Because I really want to see what it looks like because I know there's all those cool things happening. Okay, so if you can really focus on one-on-one -on -one connections in all of this, and then when you're able to add the technology, this technology allows you to take those one-on-one -on -one connections and multiply them. But we can't get to a place where, well, it's really easy. We can slip down that slope easily, but it, we want to make sure that we, we focus on staying in that space of making one-on-one -on -one connections. Okay, yes, oh my gosh, I love it. Do fireworks go off when you say boom? I think it's cool, okay. Um, I think that's what's happening. I, 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 I'm not sure. Ooh, let's make sure we share this again. I'm going to do a quick recap. But so for people who are joining in, I'm going to go back to the beginning really quick. We are talking about connecting and making real genuine connections with real human beings because it's the lives birthday. And I believe the messenger bots get a bad rap because people use them inappropriately. And really what we need to do is recognize that they are amazing tools that allow us to connect more with the people that we really can be making a difference with, right? And I'm not only here to make a difference in your business and your life, I'm here to allow you to help me to make a difference in the world. So in my business, I talk a lot about the fact that joy is the most important thing. I use the hashtag stand for joy because I firmly believe that we can use joy as a, as a, as a, a form of activism. And so when people like Irene, who I didn't give a shout out to yet, but Irene is so amazing and helping us to get our messages out there at Be Live TV. Um, it's just, it's a way for us to help you to be more yourself and really get your message out into the world. And I believe we're making a huge difference by doing that. Okay. One other, the, the next tip is give them choices. You want to give your audience choices. So um, you'll notice in most of the broadcasts that you've seen from us at Be Live today, we didn't because it was kind of a different day. But usually when we send out a broadcast here, we give you choices to join us live, to join us in the replay or to say no, thank you. It's not something where you want to force your stuff on your audience. You want to give them a choice. So give them options and let them like, um, who was it? Monique said earlier, like a choose your own adventure book. Let them choose to, to join you, right? Okay, next is celebrate individuals. So as you're here, I can celebrate Linda Sun. Well, where'd you go? I lost it. The comments are so fast. Shoot. Linda Sunshine West is my amazing chief officer of joy and um, over at the prepared performer. And I'm so grateful to have her in my life. She goes live all the time. She sings happy birthday to everyone every day. She's gone live for like, 400 days or something singing happy birthday. So when I pull her up and I celebrate her, which Be Live right now is the only platform that does this, it's so cool because I'm able to give her a little bit of a spotlight, right? I'm able to celebrate her. And then in turn, she's like, oh my gosh. I mean, obviously Linda and I know each other really well, but imagine if that was a stranger that I'm working to connect with. Like, let me find, I know so many of you, right? Um, I know so many of you, hooray. Yes, Danielle says, this is so awesome. Yes, everyone loves choices. So if I shout out Danielle and I, I celebrate her, maybe I'm gonna ask her like, Danielle, comment below and let us know what you do in your business or let us know what your why is. At the Camera Confidence Show that we do here every Wednesday at Be Live, I love to have the community come together and share their own opinions. And the more that we can celebrate our audience and the opinions that they have, the more um, that one-on-one -on -one connection will continue to grow. Okay, now this is a big one. Dedicated connection time. So this is where you wanna go into Facebook groups, um, you know, Facebook groups are the easiest way to do it, but I actually set aside time. I'm getting better at getting back to it again, but setting aside time either every day or once a week to literally just jump in and connect with people, not trying to sell something, not trying to get them to opt in for something, but offering value. I'm a part of the eWomen network and we say lift as you climb. And, um, and it's such a great way to get to know people. Yes, Corinders is correct, yes. Oh my gosh, Linda has gone live more than 750 days in a row. How's that even possible? You're crazy. <laughs> Yay, Patty Watson, hooray, hooray. I love it. Okay, I'm checking to see if, oh. Okay, John Leslie's trying to sign in. John Leslie, if you're there, make sure that you're on Chrome and that link that I sent you should work. Okay, 
Um, so you want to make sure that you can really set aside time to connect. It seems kind of contrived or forced, but we get so busy and we get so focused on our own. So come up with the word connect if you're going to commit to setting aside dedicated connection time. We get so used to just scrolling through our newsfeed and seeing the things that Facebook wants us to see. But, you know, throughout the um, with the algorithm and all that. But... <laughs> We want to set aside that dedicated time. And maybe you make a list. Like if I want to be connecting with other live streamers, I'm going to make a list of Zeph, Jeff, Linda, right? Valentino, my, my favorite live streaming dog. I'm going to, Corinder, I'm going to make a list of those people and I'm going to dedicate time to go connect with them. It's like going to a networking event, but doing it from your own home. Okay. The next one is recheck the repurpose. So here at Be Live, sometimes our ManyChat account gets disconnected because we have like bajillions of people who are in our community. And so it's a lot for technology to handle. So you want to make sure that when you say comment below in your videos, you come back and check on that. There's some really cool ways to make it a little easier. Like my amazing client, Kayla Vetter, was on earlier today. And she was like, oh my gosh, Molly, I don't know how I'm going to go back and find all those comments from people who commented during my show. Kayla, I'm going to help you with that because there's ways that you can streamline this so it doesn't have to be overwhelming. But you want to recheck the repurposes. If you just share all these videos and you know do ads and send this stuff out um, into the world and you don't check back in, right? Yeah, and Steven, Tina, and Hanny are so great at their repurposing tools and all of that, but you want to make sure that you go back in and recheck. Like, when I first started using repurpose, I had the setting wrong, and I accidentally published every single video on my personal page to my YouTube channel. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> It was totally my fault, but I didn't check it. I turned it on and I walked away and like five hours later, all the videos had published. So these tools are powerful and we need to make sure that we check on them as humans, whether it's you doing it or a team member, recheck the repurpose. Okay, and number 10 is share and solve. So as much as you can really share about your own life. I know we've talked a lot about story, which is so great. Share this video, right? Share from your own life, share your own story and make sure that you know that ideal client and that you're solving problems for them. Okay. You know what I'm going to do, John Leslie, I'm going to do something totally crazy. If, um, if we can't get this to work, John Leslie, if you're still there, let me know. Otherwise I'm going to call you on Facebook chat and you can just join in like from my phone. <laughs> Okay, the next, I have a little bonus tip for you, which some of you are going to love this one, which is get off your dang computer and go to live events. And the coolest thing for me is that when you use this Facebook Live tools, when you use BeLive, where you can actually bring yourself onto the, onto the screen, you can bring yourself into the homes of the people who really need you, you can, you know, celebrate those people who are there. Yes, it's all, yeah, and you give strong call to actions like commenting below with the words bot me <laughs> or go ahead and where you'll be able to get more access to the BeLivers community, the, a, free act, a free trial of BeLive TV and also um, a little bit more support from me if you'd like it. Then, <laughs> then when you do those things, when you really share and solve people's problems online, when you step offline and you meet people in real life, whoa, because you walk in the door and people are like, oh my gosh, I feel like I've known you my whole life. I feel, you know, I feel like I've had all these conversations with you because you're treating it like, let's go back over that again, a one-on-one -on -one interaction, right? A one-on-one -on -one connection. So, okay, I'm going to check these messages really quick because we're supposed to be getting our friends in here and maybe it's not working. John Leslie, can you still hear me? Okay, so, so good, so good, so good. Oh no, we lost our, see? Okay, it just happened again right now. I rechecked on our ManyChat account and we lost the connection. So I'm refreshing the connection. We sent out like 20,000 messages today and um, there's been so much interaction here that sometimes we break the internet. So go ahead and comment below with bot me again if it didn't work yet and, um, and it should be working now. I just refreshed it. Okay, so we're gonna do a little recap of all of this. Ooh, there's comments here, yes. Um, okay, <laughs> the, perfect. Okay, I'm multitasking like a cuckoo bird. All right, yeah, John Leslie. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do, John Leslie, is I'm gonna call you on, um, <laughs> Can I call you on like messenger video chat? He says he's on Chrome, but it's not working. I don't know. What's it doing, John Leslie, when you're trying to jump in? We have seven minutes left. So um, let me know what it's doing. And I'm going to actually call you on um, messenger if not. Okay. So I'm going to recap this. Then I'm going to try and figure out how to get, 
how to get uh, John Leslie in here. All right, actually, yeah, because it should be that link that I sent you, but let me just try and send you one more link again, John Leslie, and um, see if you click this link and then you connect your camera. Sending it to you again. It should be the same one, but connect your camera. And we'll see if we can bring you on here. Okay, boom, makes all those fireworks go off, which is so cool. Okay, um, yeah, so John Leslie, when you click on that link, it should show you, actually, do you guys wanna see if we can screen share and we can make this a learning moment? Because that's my favorite thing to do. Okay, so when you run into like weird technical things, it's an awesome way to be able to show your audience how to handle things when things get kooky. So I'm gonna screen share, yes. It's working, amazing. Um, hold on, I'm gonna pull up the screen first. So John Leslie, I'm gonna show you right now what how to join in by joining into my own broadcast. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I'm coming back over to be live. I'm going to screen share. Oh, John Leslie's here. It worked, it worked, it worked. Yes, okay. For those of you that don't know, John Leslie Brown is one of the most amazing motivational speakers you will ever encounter. John Leslie, can you turn so there's more light on your face? He is Mamie Brown's grandbaby boy. He is gonna bring you so much joy. He is running for governor of California, which is like crazy. He has this amazing program where he helps people to learn via their lenses. Um, he's just like such a, a ball of energy and, and joy. And I'm gonna bring him on right now so that he can share some awesome with you. Here we go. Ready, John Leslie, here you come. Hey, you're on, you're live. Can you hear me? Yes. You're live. Hello. Hello, you're here. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. So, John Leslie, we're talking about making more human connections. And, you know, we've talked a lot about technology and how crazy it is and how awesome it is and how powerful it is. But if you were to give some tips on making more human connections, we went over these 10 steps, which I know you were here and heard them. Um, what else would you have to say? We've got five minutes left. So I'd love to just share the screen with you and let you kind of jump in and share some tips about making more human connections. Yes. Well, thank you very much. I think right now, the first thing to keep in mind is that um, community is the new currency. Yes. Community is the new currency. And everyone, we were not put here just to go through our lives by ourselves. And um, we were put here to be a part of a community. And so the question is, are you, I love the fact that you talked about the human touch because it reminds me of the fact that we are human beings, not human doings. And Ooh, so good. Right being down below in the comments below, if you agree. Yes, we are human beings, not human doings, as my sister Ola says. And one of the things to keep in mind is that the, the old system, of doing business going, we moved from a brick and mortar business to a click and order economy. And when you have a, a, a leader like Molly sharing her tips, what you're doing is you are the magician that shows where the rabbit hides under the hat, okay? <laughs> you are showing how the lady hides in the little cupboard before she gets cut out. And what you're showing is, how to build social influence. And you cannot build social influence by looking at people in numbers. You cannot build social influence by just thinking about how, how you're going to serve yourself or reaching your quotas. You've got to look at people with the customized approach and you've got to be able to lead them from where they are to where they need to be. And in order to do that, you have to realize that each every, each and every individual, they have an individual calling and how and how your voice and, and your story can make a difference in their lives. Sorry, yes, Molly. So much of that is, no, that's so good. It's, it's so much of that is about listening as well, right? Mm -hmm. Not just, so often we get like caught up on our own strategies or our own mission or whatever, and we forget to listen to the people that we're speaking to as well and finding out how we can really solve their problems and really meet their needs, yeah? Yes, that is so true, that is so true. Yeah. I think for me, I have had some great mentors. I mean, you don't always understand their advice. And it's so important to get to the fundamentals. So that human touch is, is important. And, and looking at how we can um, expedite the process 
of putting systems in place for your business. What you are sharing, you're giving people the ability to, to have uh, uh, predictable results. You know, and when you have predictable results, you know what comes first. What comes first? Humanity is first. Humanity. And if you're not doing something that truly serves humanity, if you're doing something that's not all about empowering the people, then you don't understand the times that we are in today. And so if you want to be an influencer in the future and help mold the direction that our society moves, You've got to get, we've got to get back to the people and understanding the importance of using, using these tools to bring us closer together instead of helping, making us feel more isolated. That's yes. so important. So what would you say? We have one minute left. I'm not going to do a recap, but you can go back and watch the replay. If you want to get all 10 tips, it will help you to use technology and automation to really connect with more human beings. John Leslie, I know that so many people are afraid. They're afraid to share their voice. They're afraid, afraid to speak out. In one minute, if you could share a tip about how to summon the courage to be able to share your story with the world so that we can make more humanity, um, you know, human connections and make humanity important, what would that be? Yes. Feed your faith and your fears will starve to death, okay? Right now, people have so many fear storms and they're risk averse. They're afraid of speaking out. See, we got a freedom of speech, but so many people have a fear of speaking out. You gotta use your voice to make a difference and, and remove that fist of fear from your heart and use it to, to make a positive difference on this in this planet, just like Molly Mahoney, my dear sister from another Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> I love that so much. So feed your faith and your fear will starve to death. Man, so true. Thank you, John Leslie, for joining us today. Um, this was so awesome. Please share this video. There's even more magic coming at you. And John Leslie, where can people learn more about you? Yes, you can check more out about, more about me at leaderlenses.com. Leaderlenses.com. You can find out more about how you can be a, a leader and in your area with your topic and we're bringing fashion tech into the marketplace it is these leader lenses are so cool it's really amazing i'm i feed your faith and your fear will starve to death you have a message it is time to go live it is time to be heard and when you're ready to really ramp it up add some of these amazing messenger automation tools um including messenger automation like our handsome have you seen our be live bot let's bring him up one last time before we take out. Here is our Be Live bot, John Leslie. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. I'm gonna send you out. Um, John Leslie, you're amazing. Go to leaderlenses.com to learn more about how you can feed your faith and your fear will starve to death. All right.